My first introduction is kind of a funny story. Um, I actually, they were playing in the Final Four, I think it was 2012, I don't know, it was in Towson, and my dad was like, you know what, like, let's go to the game. So we drove to the game, it's like 10 minutes away from my house, and Northwestern's playing, and I didn't know anything about lacrosse, really, like this was my first ever collegiate game. And I saw one black person on the Northwestern team, and I was like, I'm rooting for the purple team because I like that sh there's a black person on the team. So I rooted for Northwestern. They ended up winning, and I actually got autographs by the team and by Kelly. Um, and I have like an autograph, like a picture of her signing an autograph for me. So it's actually a pretty funny story. I think uh, Scott had watched her uh, in the summer and really, really thought she was a fantastic player. So Northwestern was actually my last visit. Um, my friend had visited before and she was like, you'll love it here, like it's the best. The girls are so much like us. I had like a really positive attitude coming into the visit and when we got to the airport, the people at the airline are like, oh, like there's just one ticket. Sammy called me and said, you know, my parents don't have tickets. And my mom and my dad are like freaking out, trying to figure out a flight, like trying to get a flight. And I was like, guys, it's okay. Like, I don't have to go. Like, we can reschedule. And they're like, no, like, you're going. You're getting on this flight. And like, it was okay. So like, they ended up finding the tickets and everything ended up working out. But it's just funny because Kelly talks about now to my parents about how they did not think they were going to get me to come here because everything went wrong. We said, oh, new, new recruiting tactic. Let's just do everything wrong and then they'll come. <laughs> I feel like it's low-key a dig when my parents don't answer my FaceTimes. Hey, Mom. Hi. What you doing? Cutting this grass. Oh, wow, look at you. Mom, we're doing a day in the life of Sammy White. Hey. Would you like to right. say anything to my fans? Um, keep watching. <laughs> Go cats. Well said, Mother. Thanks for thinking of me. Of course. Well, I'll let yeah. you get back to cutting that grass. Thanks, Mom. Oh, it's actually nice here today, too. I'm in shorts. Awesome. Yep. All right. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. All right. Bye. Bye. You know, I think it's it's really important for our sport to continue to grow. Um, you know, diversity in, in race, diversity in location. Um, I feel like, as a program, we've kind of been on the forefront of that. haven't been afraid to recruit players like Taylor Thornton from Texas when, you know, no one really knew who she was and she just came on the scene and, and took our sport really by storm. She was um, just absolutely just tremendous in, in all areas and confidence and in everything that she did. My name is Taylor Thornton. 
I'm the class of 2013 from Northwestern University. I work at a small venture capital firm here in Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a four-time All-American and two-time national champion. A lot of attention being paid in Lakeside Field in Evanston to Taylor Thornton. Vote for Taylor Thornton at SI.com for Athlete of the Year. You know, when I stepped on the field, I wanted people to respect me for the type of player that I was, the athlete, and I feel, you know, being a woman to cover the, that color, that's my superpower. And I loved that, and I loved being a presence for young girls to look at the field and say, like, hey, you know, you gotta see yourself, you know, in other people and things to dream that dream and bigger outside of themselves. What an opportunity we have with you know, a, a lot of good black players coming on the scene and making their mark. And I think Sammy is definitely a leader in that area. And I know she takes a lot of pride in that. I really use my platform being one of the only black women lacrosse players at such a high level to encourage all the girls that look like me that are younger um, because I want people to come to the Final Four and I want them to be like, they have a, a girl that looks like me, like I want to root for them. Like that's what I want to give those girls, like I want to give them what I had. I think she's going to inspire a whole nother generation of players to, you know, join the sport, understand that the sport will accept them and um, just really diversify, you know, what we're doing on the, the national perspective. Wildcats are champions again. It's a repeat they've grown to love. You know, every day I was going out there to compete, to be the best tailor and show up for my teammates and, you know, really hopefully legal, leave a legacy that, you know, young girls can look up to and just hopefully create their own paths. You know, there are, there's already one Taylor Thornton. They don't need another, you know, they're creating their own story. Um, yeah, so today basically just started off with risk communication class, then went to Spanish, just kind of a typical school day for me. Um, have two classes a day, um, just, you know, putting that student in the student athlete, which is very important here at Northwestern. And now we're heading to the facility. You can just tell everyone's morales are up today. Just people, sun's out, smiles out. That's how I like to say. Wow, it looks significantly cleaner in here. This is my stick, Izzy Skane stick. I think she just makes me a better player all around. We call it the Skane. But yeah, it's called the Air 2. But they do have IS right there for Izzy Skein. She's my teammate. She's pretty cool. We've seen the big time talent that is Samantha White. We're trying to figure out how to get her a player of the year in some form. You know, midfielder who's went back to defender and I think one of the best players in the country. She's pretty much played everything that she could play. And I think it's just, you know, what the need of our team is. Um, she, she dominates, but obviously this year she's dominated on the defensive end. She's always been so consistent, very smooth, reliable, and just a very, like, a joy to watch. Her anticipation skills are really amazing. Honestly, that's not enough for me. Like, I want to be in the top five competing, and like, even on the top five, like, I want to be the one of the ones that really has a shot of winning that. Um, because I'm, I'm a competitor. I always will be. Just from a leadership perspective, this year she's grown a ton. It's very hard to be a leader as a sophomore, um, but I think that she's found her voice, she's found her confidence in, you know, pushing other players and, and connecting other players, and, you know, the D has really taken ownership of that. Together on D, one, two, three! Yeah! 
Yeah, the main thing was I wanted to win a national championship and I knew Kelly has the experience, she has the talent, she has the drive to do that and I knew she was going to make me a better player every single day I showed up. We're going to give everything we have every single day for the rest of the time that we have left because you don't know when the season could come to an end. I love playing with these girls every single day and I just get better as a person and as a player every day. So it's really fun being me, I'm not going to lie. <laughs>